Babe Esmond's been good enough to join us, mate. A long day in the field today. Very, very long day. Seemed longer than ever, ever before in my test career so far. You've got some wonderful batsmen on your side and you've seen them up close. What was it like seeing Michael Clark and Ricky Ponting bat that well today? Uh, from a spinner's perspective, there's not much in the wicket. Uh, and you don't expect it to happen in Australia on the day two or anything. Not before day five when you come into the game as a spinner. But uh, having said that, I thought they really dictated the terms to us this morning. They batted very positively right from last evening and just put us on the back foot a little bit. Uh, with, with the number of runs we had, it was always going to be a catch-up game. How, how's the feeling in the rooms at the moment? You've gone in there, you've spent a brief moment with the boys. How's the feeling after day two? Uh, see, uh, predominantly the Indian team dressing room has always been the same. Uh, win, lose or whatever it was, and that's the, that's the biggest positive you can gain from the dressing room. But uh, having said that, uh, these times it's just a matter of a couple of individuals just putting their hands up and throwing throwing caution to the winds and really uh, putting the team in the front foot and just make that big scores and give the motivation the others require. First session tomorrow is obviously very important just to get those few wickets. Uh, yeah, uh, see, it's, it's like four sessions into the game and uh, we, we basically look, look to catch up some mental game right now. We'll have to see what Australia's game plan is tomorrow and really take it on from there. You must be happy with your form. I know you didn't get the wickets in this test match, but bowled really well in Melbourne. Yeah, I mean, bowled really well in Sydney as well. Uh, yeah. Not very far from... Just troubled a few batsmen this morning and troubled Michael Hussey towards the end of the day. You you will get hit. I mean, as a spinner, you'll be you'll have to be very prepared prepared for that. And been been very. All I said to myself stepping into Australia was to be really gutsy and bold and try try and do what I know the best to do. And it's been coming out well. Well, we'd love seeing you bowl, mate. Good luck and cricket's a funny game. Thank you so much, Pete. Wonderful to talk to you.